So we're playing an exciting game of Battleship. Uh, our opponent uh, secretly positions a ship on a 10 by 10 grid, and we are trying to guess where the ships are. Each of the guesses, um, your guesses is a hit if it um, hits a ship and it misses otherwise, obviously. Uh, so we are given the information that the game has started, there are three ships, a battleship of length four, submarine length three, destroyer length two. And we are playing a variation of this where we're making five hits simultaneously. And then we are assuming, let's assume that five guesses are simple random sample from this grid of 100 positions. And now we're asked to find the, the mean and the variance of uh, the number of distinct ships that we will hit. Uh, we are asked to give this as an exact answer in terms of a binomial coefficient or factorials. Um, or also numerical value computed using a computer. Uh, okay, and then there's a hint as well, which is that we are asked to put this in terms of, um, recap the number in terms of missed, and then expressing that as a sum of random uh, variables, indicate random variables. Okay, so this seems like a tricky answer at first. Uh, let's uh, first just understand the, the the setup so let's draw a grid of 10 by 10 assuming this being a 10 by 10 grid okay it wasn't exactly um drawn but let's imagine now um so that we have basically a grid here uh, one two three up to ten one, two, three, up to 10, like so. And what we have here is that, uh, first of all, that we have three different ships. Uh, let's uh, uh, define them. So we have the battleship here, I and mean, we can be laying somewhere here, covering four squares. If the battleship is here, I mean, this is one, two, three, and four. Well, that was uh, not a four. So let's say that this is the, um, the submarine instead and um, one critical thing is to understand whether you know this basically is set up as a linear um, uh, setup of where the submarine is set like so uh, but really the submarine can be in any position here in any constellation right it could be uh, laying like so it could be laying like but not not um, in this in this type of position so we can think about this problem of uh, i mean the, the basically it's an area where the submarine is covering an area so really the submarine hitting a submarine is a uh, has a probability of um, the length of the submarine which is three uh, divided by the grid and that is uh, we can think about each grid now uh, either having covering a the submarine or not covering the submarine. Okay, so now we're asked to set this in terms of um, define a random variable m, which covers the number of missing, and then the, an indicator variable for um, let's call this uh, <clears throat> the uh, battleship. So this is whenever. We miss the battleship. This is whenever we miss the submarine. This is another random variable for the missing the destroyer. Now you might ask, why are we focusing on missed and not actual hit? Well, the thing is that we are given five simultaneous throws or hits uh, or shots. So if um, if, if we're focusing on number of hits, we would have to figure out all variations of maybe hitting one, missing uh, four, hitting two, missing three, and so on and so forth. So it's better to focus on the complement, and this is exactly what we're doing uh, with these uh, random variables here. So now M is then basically, as I said, the, the random variable summing up a number of uh, um, uh, missing 
the, the missing uh, components of all uh, battleships here. Okay, so the expectation then of this M by linearity, we can just take the expectation of missing battleship, missing the expectation of missing submarine, and the expectation of missing the destroyer. Okay, so actually, uh, there's one thing here uh, that I should uh, write. So what we're after is, is obviously a um, number of hits. So I should start by writing down that really what we want is um, finding the um, the mean and the various of distinct ships that we will hit with our uh, salvo. And, and that is uh, basically the same thing as defining, uh, letting n be the, uh, uh, the number of, of hits. So letting n be the number of hits. And then th we have three ships that we uh, want to uh, basically well, well I mean um, let's just start from the beginning here just saying that we have the number of of hits number of missed those are those will always sum to three okay so either I hit two miss one you know or any combination or variation of those things those will always sum to to three and they are random variables um, as we just defined them. So finding n the number of, of um, hits, we just take three minus m, right? And so the expectation of this thing here is basically, and this is a constant, so we can just by linearity let it be like so. Um, oh. and then we have the expectation of M. And that's what we're trying to solve for uh, here. Okay, so let's continue ahead here. So now by the fundamental bridge, so what we have is that this is a Bernoulli random variable. So we can use the fundamental, fundamental bridge, which which states basically that the expectation of a Bernoulli random variable is um, the same thing as taking the probability of that variable. So we have B equals one probability of IS equals one, and the probability of ID equals one. All right, and now Let's think about what those probabilities are. Okay, starting with the battleship, um, we have five hits. So the first hit, the first shot, the first shot that we have, um, what will that probability be? Well, if we look at this uh, grid again, we'll see that the battleship has a length of four, uh, right? It has a length of four, and that's what, what's given uh, here. And we're saying that it's a uniform, um, with uniform probability, we will hit that uh, four. So basically, the first hit will have uh, 100 minus, so that 100 positions minus the length, because we're looking for mists. So 96 divided by 100, that's the probability of the first shot. So thinking about shooting five uh, times in sequence, we can think about this problem uh, by first, this is the, the probability of the first shot, first shot, and the probability of the second shot of missing is now 96 uh, minus one, because we're not, we already know 
that there wasn't a, um, a battleship in, in that whatever grid that we, we hit, whatever cell that we hit. So we have 95 and the same thing for the denominator. Hit number two is 94 my, uh, divided by 98. Then 93 divided by 97. I'm doing this five times. Yep. And this is basically the same thing as taking the sum. Oh, sorry. Uh, multiply from I, zero up to four. Because we start by subtracting nothing. That's 96 minus I, 100 minus I. That's the exact same thing. Now, another way to think about this, um, these sequential, so this was the second and so on. Another way to think about it is that we draw five cells without looking at them. And then we look at um, whether there, there was a hit or miss um, jointly. And then in that case, uh, this this thing here, this logic here is the same thing as having a 96 position uh, drawing five. Those are all the, the misses available to us. And, and that is of all 105 positions. This will see, this will yield the same, the same, um, quantity. Okay. And then we continue ahead with this in the same way and this in the same way. All right. So, because we are, um, and then, and basically correcting for the length here uh, as well, obviously. Now, because um, we are asked to um, calculate the exact number, um, I will uh, show this in our, in a moment. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave these quantities uh, and then we call this, we'll call this uh, the battleship quantity and this will be uh, the submarine and this will be the destroyer Okay So that is the expectation um, of, of M Now let's think about the variance uh, The variance here uh, The variance here well, well, actually, before before I move on to the variance, uh, I I do have the answer uh, written here on a note, so I'll I'll just give it to you and then connect it back uh, in the um, in the R tutorial. So this will be um, when summing up uh, the expectation uh, of of M. Um, do the expectation of N three minus expectation of M. This will be uh, approximately, because we were going to approximate it, 0 0.43. Uh, so that's the, the, um, the expectation of N, and that is, in terms of uh, intuition, um, that's the number of distinct ships that we will hit with our salvo. So it will, on average, of five hits, hit about uh, a half ship. Okay, the, now let's think about the variance. So the variance of, of N, the variance of N, is the same thing as the variance of three minus M. And this is just a constant, so we can ignore it. It will only shift the position of M, but it will retain the same variance. The variance of M and the variance of M, uh, actually, let me just move this down here to be a little consistent.
and m is composed of these random variables of the indicator of the battleship missing the battleship indicator of missing the submarine indicator of missing the destroyer okay and the, by the rules of the variance this is the same thing as taking uh, when you sum up um, a number of random variables that's the same thing as taking their individual variances and then adding their covariance terms this indicator oops variance of the indicator of s variance of the indicator of d like this and then plus two times the covariance of the indicator of b indicator of s two times the covariance of the indicator of b indicator of s plus two times the variance of the indicator of the submarine indicator of the destroyer well that shouldn't be the variance but the covariance like this all right good now the indicator random variables uh, these guys here uh, they are all all Bernoulli and the variance of the Bernoulli of any random variable Bernoulli is the same thing as P1 minus P, right? If X is defined as a Bernoulli P, okay? So it means that this term here is the same thing as the um, these terms here the b's the s and the d so those are the the parameters of, of each of those uh, Bernoulli random variables so this is then b 1 minus b this is then the submarine 1 minus s the variance here d 1 minus d like this Okay, good. Now, the covariance needs a little bit more thought. So what is this asking for? Well, the covariance is, uh, let's just define that. It's the expectation of the indicator of the battleship times the indicator of the submarine. Uh, it should be squared here, both of those terms squared, minus indicator of battleship, expectation of that, expectation of indicator of the um, submarine. Like so, these aren't squared, no, my bad, like this. Okay, so these terms we know already, we just calculated those, uh, but this one term is a little tricky. So let's think about what, what this means. So this term here, uh, by the fundamental bridge, means that we can take the probability of the indicator of B times indicator of S, those should equal one. And that is the same thing as indicator of B equal one, indicator of S equal one. So they both have to equal one in order to um, this term to, to be one. And what does this mean? Well, it means that we missed the battleship and the submarine, right? And we know that the battleship is of length four and the submarine is of length three. 
So now we're covering an area of 4 plus 3 in the cells that we discussed here. So we basically have uh, this battleship, and we might, uh, if we color, color um, this battleship with green, and then we have the submarine perhaps laying like this, and that covers three. But they can cover any area, and we need to miss both of them. And missing both of them is the same thing as uh, thinking about what area they're covering. So we have the 100 cells minus 4 for the battleship minus 3 for the uh, submarine. That divided by 100. But that's only the first hit. The second hit, now we have 99 minus 7. And then this is a 99 as well. And so it continues five times. So what we end up with here is the, um, should write out the fifth, which is the um, 90, yeah, five. So, so it should be a six here, a seven minus six like this. This is the same thing as I zero to four. And we are now doing the same thing as we did before. So we do minus seven, minus i, minus i. And that is uh, for the battleship and the submarine. And the same, uh, the same logic follows for the battleship and the submarine, the submarine and, and the destroyer. Now, adding up uh, all those terms, uh, we will end up with a uh, variance uh, approximately uh, equal to 0 0.34, approximately 0 0.34. Okay, so now I've showed you the, the principle of, of, of finding these quantities mathematically. Uh, I'll do a little separate video attaching it to this one, I believe, uh, showing how we calculate this, uh, these quantities in R. Okay, so now we are in R and we are going to calculate the mean and the variance. So here to the left, we um, see the calculations that we just did. And uh, let's see if we can maximize that like so. Basically, um, we're going to calculate these quantities here, the B and S and the D. And these are exactly listed here, the B and S and the D. So what are we doing here in R? Well, we are first in this row defining a vector B. Here is just an empty vector. And then I am going to uh, do this multiplication of five terms and basically calculate this, uh, zoom into this here, uh, this product of i zero to four, defined like so. And this is uh, what we have here for starting with a battleship. So we're taking b, uh, starting with i plus one because r doesn't index at zero, start at one. And so we basically do this for loop multiply them together uh, like so. Well, actually, this is just a vector uh, here, down here. I'm going to take the product of all these. And this product function basically takes the, the elements of this vector and multiply them together. So this is the probability of I B here, which is equal to the expectation of missing a uh, battleship in five hits. The same for the submarine and the same for the destroyer. And here uh, we see that we, it's basically the same structure, just this is changing it from length uh, four to three to two. Okay, and then we take this uh, 
these products, subtract them off three, and we see that we're getting this um, number here, which is the expectation that we see here. So this is the three. That's the expectation of M, which is all these terms here. And we end up with 0 0.43. Great, so let's look at the, the variance. So the variance we defined uh, here. And that is um, essentially boiling down to this variance of the indicator of B, indicator of S, indicator of D, and then adding their uh, covariance terms. And so the probability of uh, B is the, um, which is the, the probability parameter of three uh, Bernoulli distributed indicator variables. So this is the probability of the battleship, the submarine, and a destroyer probability. This is the probability of missing in all five shots, um, each of these. Okay, so those are the variances and we calculate them as we just defined here. And so the variance of B is 0 0.15, the variance of S 0 0.12, variance of D is the following here. Okay, so now uh, let's calculate the, um, so so this minus expectation of IB, those terms, these terms we know, what we have to calculate is this expectation of IB, IS squared. Oh, this shouldn't be a square, by the way, I just realized, um, because we have those terms uh, in here. Okay. Um, okay, so what, how do you do this? Well, here it's um, the same setup, only that we are subtracting off the length of the battleship and the submarine when we do the indicator, the expectation for the battleship and the submarine. And so it's the same, same type of function, just a different um, probability here. And so the covariance is then the probability of S, which is this expectation here, the probability of S, which is this expectation here, and the product of this term here is 0 0.69, which is the expectation of both these indicator uh, random variables. So again, ignore this square here. Okay. And the, um, the same thing for the battleship, Variance with the destroyer, but now we have to subtract off the, the length of the, the battleship and the destroyer. So that's the only change here. And then we have the expectation of the length of the submarine and the destroyer set up here in the same uh, adjustments. Now we have the covariance of the, <clears throat> the destroyer and the submarine. Now we add them up and this is what we're doing here the variance of ib which is this and then that variance of is which is this two times the covariance of bd which is this term here two times the covariance of bs which is this one and two times the covariance of is id is this term here and that together is the 0 0.34 approximately this number here